Storage OS is a persistent storage solution that works seamlessly with OpenShift 4. Storage OS provides dynamic provisioning of storage volumes to applications running in containers, offering best-in-class performance and powerful features such as encryption, compression, caching, high availability, and rapid recovery for stateful, containerized applications. In this demo, we will install Storage OS on an OpenShift 4 cluster, show how to use the Storage OS Container Storage Interface driver as we create a stateful set comprised of three nodes, and take a brief look at the Storage OS volumes and nodes managed by Storage OS using the Storage OS UI. We'll start by logging in to OpenShift 4. Here we'll find the Red Hat Certified Storage OS Operator in the Operator Hub. The Operator documentation will inform us of some prerequisites. We'll use the OpenShift command line to satisfy those before installing a Storage OS cluster. The Storage OS Operator is installed with one click of the Install button at the top of the page. We can then subscribe to any updates for the Operator. With the Operator installed, we can elect to use it to install the Storage OS solution into the OpenShift cluster. But first, we will navigate to the OpenShift command line and set up the prerequisites. The Storage OS API secret, here being configured with YAML, and the OpenShift security context constraints, which will need to be completed for the two Storage OS service accounts, Storage OS daemon set and Storage OS stateful set. With the prereqs in place, we can use the operator to create the Storage OS cluster in OpenShift and enable the Container Storage Interface, or CSI, by editing the default YAML. Once Storage OS is running, we can see that a new storage class called FAST will be automatically created using the Storage OS provisioner, and that can then be used by applications requiring storage. To create a stateful set using Storage OS, we'll navigate to Workloads, Stateful Sets, and change the storage class from the default to the Storage OS provisioned FAST storage. After a few minutes, the stateful set is up and running and visible in the OpenShift UI as several pods. We can see there are three instances of it there. And by looking under Storage, we can see that each one has been bound to a persistent volume claim. We can also use the OpenShift command line to check on the status of the stateful set pods. Here we can see the three nodes of the stateful set, as well as the Storage OS operator, are running in OpenShift. The command line also lets us look at the PVCs, or persistent volume claims, and we can see that each member of the stateful set is assigned its own volume provisioned by Storage OS. Let's now take a look at the Storage OS cluster using the Storage OS UI, available on port 5705. The first thing we will see are the volumes dynamically provisioned by Storage OS as part of the stateful set. We can see each volume has a label indicating it has been provisioned as part of the Nginx application. We can inspect a particular volume simply by clicking on it. We can see its current state, its replicas if any, and on which nodes the volumes actually reside. Navigating to Nodes, we can see all Storage OS nodes and their available capacity, and all the node labels which were passed through from OpenShift. Labels serve as metadata and to establish policies and behaviors, and if we like, we can add custom node labels using Storage OS as well. By using Storage OS, Applications running in OpenShift can benefit from the capabilities offered like encryption, compression, caching, rapid recovery, and high availability across availability zones. To find out more about using Storage OS with Red Hat, visit www.storageos.com slash red hat.